Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can verify your domain in AWS. So I already have created some videos, which is a bit older. So I thought let's create a new one with a new latest interface. So I'm going to, uh, I have a domain. This is nightwoods.com. So I want to use uh, AWS ACS for sending emails for this domain on behalf of this domain, right? So uh, the th steps that you have to take is that you need to have the control of your domain. So like the DNS manager, you, you, you should have access to that. I'm using Cloudflare for this uh, domain, but you can use your own DNS provider. Like there are different DNS providers available, which you can use basically Namecheap, GoDaddy, whatever you want. Okay, so uh, first thing, you have to go to ACS and you can do that by going, clicking on the search option, click on Amazon Simple Email Service. Then you should see all those uh, interface. So I already have this account. Uh, this account is uh, like approved by AWS. So it has already a sending limit of 50,000 emails per day. But you probably, when you open a new account, it, it is in a sandbox mode, and then you have to <clears throat> apply. You go to the support center, like here, and then apply for your uh, production access, or maybe increase your sending limit, right? By default, you don't have those limit 50,000. I have this limit 50,000 because I applied there and they uh, reviewed my application. I explained what are the purpose of my uh, this limit and then they approved it. Okay. So once you, you are approved, then you can um, you can send email using this uh, AWS ACS. Okay. Let's go to the process. Let's assume that you have uh, got the approval, right? Then next step is go to verified identities. I am here in the verified identities, and then I'm going to create a new identity. So identity is like a domain or email address. So let's do a domain. I'm going to enter the domain name. My domain name is knifetoots.com. Then I'm going to click here, ECDKIM2048. Publish DNS records to root 53. This is not hosted in root 53, so I'll uncheck this. But if your uh, DNS is managed by root 53, you can check this, then you don't have to create those records by yourself manually. That's the advantage, okay. Let's review again, domain name, and then EZDKIM, and then RSA 2048 bit. So that's it, create identity. It should create identity and then it will ask you to do some DNS changes. So publish DNS record. Then these are the DNS changes that you have to maintain, create. So copy here, CNAME, copy this, go to Cloudflare and then add a record. Choose the type CNAME, paste the value here and then copy the value and then paste the value here. Save. Then similarly again, copy the name. Add record, choose C name. And then paste the value here. Save. Similarly, copy the CNAME, add a record, copy the value, proxy reusable, and save. Okay. So I added three records here, and let's, these three has been added. Now you just need to wait for a few more minutes to propagate the DNS changes. I think it should take around not more than five minutes to propagate your DNS changes. 
once the changes are approved, you will see that verification app done or approved, something like this. Okay. So uh, I'm going to pause the video for a few minutes. Okay. So it, uh, the DNS verification is completed and I get this tick mark. I just made one typing mistake that was if you see my video it was knife tour.com i probably spelled r as something so i had to delete that record and created a new one and uh, this is the exact same domain so then it gave me new records here which i added meanwhile pausing the video and then now it is showing the verified icon okay there is the just only notification that if you see my as part of the video, it's something in the typing instead. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the process how you can verify your domain. And then if you verify your domain, then you can send emails using Lambda or maybe simple Python script. I have a uh, blog here which shows how to use this uh, use a sample script to send email. So here is like the full, uh, full process is given where you can use this to send email to using uh, AWS SES. I will give this link uh, in the video description so, can use, you, so, so that you can use this and then send emails to your uh, person that you want. Here you need to just have to uh, keep in mind that the from address needs to be uh, anything that is starts ends with knifetools.com for example. I can send an email to uh, any clients using SCS where the from email will be like info at the knife tools.com or admin at knife tools.com or anything at knife tools, knife tools .com, et cetera. So this is, this is just to make sure that um, if you use some other domain name that then AWS will reject you for sending out emails because you have verified only this domain, so you are authorized to send email on behalf of this domain, not with others, right? That is just to have a clear note. That being said, that's it. That's it for today. I hope so. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will create more videos like this. Here, so source sender at example.com. Please replace this one. This is a stuffing replace this part with your domain so for example sender at your domain.com or knife tools.com whatever it is replace this otherwise this will not work remember you have to replace this part anyway that's it for today thank you everyone